it's that wonderful time again. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Fontaman, and welcome back to Limbus Company. So, uh, yeah, but as we were before we got derailed entirely by an event that I missed that was required for the story. It was basically just world building about Limbus Company. There was very little at all about Heathcliff in that entire sh thing. Like, I think he talked more in the back on the boat mini than during that entire event. So, okay. I mean, we kind of had to know where the Blade lineage identities came from. So it's nice to know where they all came from. But yeah, that, that derailed literally everything. But hey, we've got both new maids, so I don't have to really roll for fucking anything at this point. So let's get on with this. I could save all my lunacy to keep us going for as long as possible tonight. Hmm. All right, so there's one more thing we have to look at here, which is uh, I'm assuming more world building for Limbus Company because we kind of need that. So it's a cutscene. So this is where I start reading. And then after this, I get to stop reading. You know, until Blue Archive comes around again and then I get to read literally fucking everything again. But, okay. I guess the traffic sucks no matter which nest we go to. We've been traveling at a snail's pace through the extreme congestion of the nest for several days now. Roydia, clearly effective, affected by this boredom, sighed and muttered. Okay, so apparently the traffic's b bad in jolly old England. A lot of Model Ts, you know, lined up on the road spewing, f you know, smog out along with all of the smokestacks. Yeah, I can see this image. As the great Ron Swanson said about the history in, about history in London, history began on July 4th, 1776. Everything before that was a mistake. <laughs> nice. Thank you, egg roll. We've been through similar long periods of inactivity before, but but boredom isn't something one could easily get used to. I suppose it became a part of my job to listen to sinners complain about the slow pace of, of our travel. Yes, fortunately, we have to sit here and listen to this and say the same things over and over again. We can't make the bus go faster. Though, frankly, you'd think Chiron would start, you know, get annoyed herself and start running people over with the bus and just kind of, you know, jumping traffic with that. But, um... I, I, she hasn't got there yet. How much longer until the T-Corp immigration checkpoint? My only option is to give them a reminder of how far we are from our destination. Yes, be, be the voice in the GPS navigation system. You know, telling you exactly how far away you are. Mm -hmm. Give everyone some hope. <laughs> Considering that we'll that we will be on standby for approximately a day at our next stop, and taking into account various other stops we'll be making en route, our estimated time of arrival is in three days. Three days? Why are we all standing on attention for here? Board while waiting. Someone should start singing that song. It doesn't end. We already did that. You see, unfortunately, the, uh, yeah, the, yeah, the, you know, things have been kind of dreary and dreary in here, and I don't need, mean because, you know, T-Corp is stealing all the color. We, you know, it, it hasn't been the same since the, you know, the unicycling seagulls. <laughs> they really brightened up a room. Damn, I miss them. <laughs> it's not like we're traveling very far, but with this awful traffic, it feels way further than it really is. Gregor's right. It didn't seem like the city was that big. Maybe there's something to these inev inevitable overly long travel times. Something I'm yet to understand. Or I'm, I suppose, yo, know, uh, you know, maybe it's maybe it's the god of traffic in the city making people wait so that we can have impetus for stories. I guess driving around in a large bus through the narrow back streets is what's taking us such a long time. I believe that it would have been faster to march on foot. 
Yeah, what of our room and board? Well, it could transform into a fucking helicopter or something. <laughs> Are you unaware that camping out in the open is a natural part of any long march? Otis wants to go camping. <laughs> Hey, Officer Otis, not everyone's been a soldier here, right? Never got, well, you know, it, what, what, what's the matter, kids that grew up in the kind of hellish and apocalyptic city that only has kind of like small sp spots of somewhat okay? What, what, what's the matter? Never gone camping before. Looks outside the city walls. Literal hellscape. <laughs> But yes, it, it'll be fine. Otis wants to go camping. And if we're unlucky, we might even, even run into those terrifying sweepers bef before the break of dawn. Ah, yes, the, 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 the solution to the homeless problem. Dude, that one jackass on Twitter saying, if you're annoyed at the system... Ignoring that the sisters getting ignored it means you hate them was just a pathological liar. The same dumbass told Vinny that the reason if the imp the reason if the emperor had a text to speech speech was canceled was because of toxic fans and totally not GW going thermonuclear on fan projects. Destroyer, what this what <laughs> what? I already logged out of that conversation. At like, first he said if you. If, if, if you're annoyed at the, the the female representation in already present in Warhammer 40k going unnoticed for this new annoying thing, you already hate all women, which, what? Then, uh, what was it? Then there was a lot of other, uh, then there was a lot of other dumb shit, and then some, other, some random guy walked into the conversation calling everyone anti-Semitic. <laughs> I just went, you know what? I have more likes on my post than comments. I succeed the ratio wars. This is a fucking circus. Good day. Then he was talking to him and he said, you yeah, know, that guy was projecting something fear. <laughs> but yes, more drama on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. Like, holy sweet mother of Christ. Some people are stupid or they're bots. I'm, conv I'm, I'm convinced at this point you could flip a fucking coin and you probably wouldn't be that far wrong. Right, you probably, calling it 50-50 probably isn't that far off the mark, but Elon Musk has gone to war against the automaton menace. We'll see how that turns out. So at least we'll be done with the bots repeating the nonsense, rather than we just have the actual stupid people, the real authentic dumbasses. But wonderful people saying dumb shit on Twitter, anyway. It's not like they would have stopped making content entirely. Which toxic fans would have probably done to them? This is true. The moment they cracked a joke about, you know, you know, uh, female custodes just suddenly arriving out of absolutely nowhere is the moment they probably would have been dragged by stupid people. Which, you know, guys, I hate to say it. Uh, if you're not doing something online right now that people don't want you dead over, you're probably not doing anything important. <laughs> it's... A little insane like that, but yeah, no, if you're doing something and people want you dead over it, you're probably doing something right, which is... Jesus fucking Christ, guys. I mean, go back this far to say, I don't think women are human. Yeah, no, he was projecting something... Like, as I said, the guy... that The, the projections that guy was throwing out about people that, you know, don't like the change were... They, they they generated gravity gravitational pull. They were that large. He was basically trying to out people who don't don't agree with them as Nazis who hate all women, which good lord. But this is what most of these people do on Twitter today. They just project that anyone who doesn't agree with them is the worst person in the world, and this justifies them throwing all the dumbest, hateful fucking shit that they could possibly say their direction. This is what the cult is at the end of the day. They're basically being condoned for attacking people if they can basically make up a projection that qualif that that makes the target out to be an enemy of the state, more or less. It literally is just, I'm being condoned for not being able to handle my mental problems. 
and uh, as long as I say, oh, well, this person hates women, it's A-OK, -okay, which is not fucking OK at all. But, ah, uh, as they say, it's my life, I get to choose the coping mechanism, but holy shit, can you choose a less insufferable coping mechanism, please? Anyway, though, even a partial mention their name, that's a spelling mistake. So, guys, this is making it really, good lord. Even a partial mention their name, I'm not the only one who does this, thank God. I, I'm starting to think I have, I'm developing dyslexia, but the, of their name drains all color from Sinner, Sinclair's face. I remember what the Sinners once told me about them. Yeah, back on traffic here, just slowly back on track here after massive spelling error and Twitter drama. Yes, the, the sweepers. That before the break of dawn, there are these things called sweepers that sweep up any trash in the back streets. As Lexia? I'm not sure if, I'm not sure of the difference. It's kind of terrifi terrifying how broad their definition of trash can be. They call that our the night in the back streets or something like that. Yeah, that's kind of the whole point, I suppose. They just kind of get rid of everybody standing on the street. This bus is one of the few vehicles recognized by the city as a residential vehicle, which means that we... We remain safe from the hands of the sweepers. Yeah, okay. Attempting to sleep outside the bus in the back streets would not permit a restful sleep. Instead, one would be forced to survive the onslaught of sleep sweepers for an hour in the early hours of dawn. Yes, camping and then horde mode against the sleepers. Or sweepers. <laughs> we're the sleepers, or were the sleepers after we were rudely awakened by these Wonderful. Actually, they're not that bad. We saw them in Library Arena. They're not, they're not terrible. They're just, they need to eat you to live, which is rather unfortunate. Makes sense. Those sweepers do steer clear of the residentials, residential areas after all. A slow yet safe travel by vehicle or a fast yet high risk march on foot. This is quite the strategic dilemma, or, 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 or we could just sit here and fucking wait like rational people, but I know I'm, we're not rational people on this fucking bus. I do not believe that the latter op option is up for consideration of, up for consideration of any fellow. The bus is once again consumed by commotion. Okay. And into that commotion, barged into, well, barged in the creak of an opening door and a familiar sigh. Okay, that's just prose. That's, sorry. That's not a spelling error or a grammatical error. That's just prose. This is coming from Otis, who said, floor it into the giant sea monster nest. It, it, ah. Guys, I know everyone wants to fuck Otis, but I don't think she's well in the head like everybody else here. I know we're all... <laughs> I know we're all utterly consumed by the thought of hag sex, but she might not be well in the head, boys, but some people are looking for that. But I understand that you all must be quite impatient, but we are precisely on schedule, so save your breaths and stop complaining. I can fix her. I'm sure everyone can. Well, you know, if if we get the Otis in half of those fucking, you know, half of the art, I, I'm sure that I, I'm sure that somebody could fix her if they really, really try. <laughs> Studies show men are more attracted to mentally ill women. Well, sure, I'd like to point out that those studies are made in current year where there's, um, there's, there seems to be a receding number of sane women out there. So I, is it, is it, 
is it men are more attracted to mentally ill women or are the mentally ill women growing as the you know the dominant majority of women to be attracted to is that 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 is the question because <laughs> uh somebody pointed that out and it's uh somebody pointed it out by saying i don't think we have much of a choice these days and uh i think they were right <laughs> But, you know, as they say, there's somebody out there for everyone, so I'm so- I'm- This- I- I'm absolutely certain that this means, and has always meant, that there's somebody with matching derangements out there for anybody. If you look hard enough. It's kind of- it's, you know, that- the wonderful phrase, you complete me with, you know, complementary mental problems. See? Wow, we're making every nice thing sound really terrible these days. Good God, the virus years. <laughs> we're just taking everything that sounded nice and we're making it the worst things ever. But anyway. By the looks on your faces, I would have been worrying about a mutiny if I didn't know better. Worrying about a mutiny? Ver Virgilius, this happens every five fucking minutes. Are we that on- are we- are, are we that on watch for this sort of thing? I mean, granted, we had to spend the first couple of chapters beating sense into the characters, but still? Those papers in your hand. New orders from- from the higher-ups? Virgilius was holding what appeared to be a bundle of freshly printed paper. This wasn't the first time something like this happened. Sometimes, after communicating in his room with the higher-ups of the company, he'd bring out a few sheets of paper to bring us up to speed. Yes, he's got a fax machine in there. Lovely. Problem is, we don't have much of a choice. Yeah, there's not much to stick your dick in, but crazy out there. Or rather, unfortunately, crazy is becoming quite loud out there. But that's just everything. It doesn't really necessarily mean it's the majority of everything. But really, it's just coming down to finding a woman that you'll that will actually stop and entertain you for five minutes. Then they might find that they actually like you, which is yeah, you know, kind of the main issue these days. You know, it kind of goes hand in hand with people projecting nonsense on Twitter and then walking away without actually understanding who the fuck they're talking to. Very sad. People complain, but if uh, people actually stopped and talked to each other for more than like five goddamn minutes, I'm I, I'm sure a lot more people would be dating, but unfortunately I don't control the world. And uh, this is also kind of why we have to have anime plots where the male and female lead are kind of tied together at the hip by the plot. <laughs> they kind of have to force to be interact like that. And then they realize, oh, they're not so bad. You know, after being locked in a fucking room with them. Unfortunately, nobody has control of that, so... You can't really have that in real life. Everyone is socially awkward now. Yeah! Most people- well... Most people never really told us how to be social, but there is a lot of people who just... Argue. And argue. And argue. And, uh, sometimes I do it, but there- We- Dipl being diplomatic was never taught to us, which is kind of a major issue currently, as we can see. Because people will just argue endlessly until one side wins via some kind of outside force. Like, the Games Workshop shit. People will continue arguing, because they're set in their ways and their opinions, and the thing that will end the argument, well, effectively end the argument, is GW sales dropping through the floor into the basement. Uh, if that happens. But people will still argue that Oh, well, I, I, I don't fucking know. What do these people say? Like, oh, no, the bigots aren't buying models. What, what are you, gay or some shit? Or some shit like that. They'll keep going because they, they keep going. But honestly, guys, I'm going to be honest. What I, I already said that I don't think anybody's well out there anymore. And, you know, before we started, I saw a post on Twitter where somebody lit themselves in fire, apparently in front of the Trump uh, trial uh, court. Uh, again, a again. And I'm looking at that and we've already, re we, we, we've already, you know, documented that the first guy who did that 
lasted like a week in relevance before nobody gave a shit anymore, and then people started cracking jokes about that. We're not fucking well. GW stock is still not being shown. Well, last time, somebody caught a glimpse of it earlier. It's apparently down 3%, which is, you know, not the biggest drop in the world, but, you know, somebody made the point. If you invested a million dollars, uh, this stupid shit just lost you $38,000. That dude was actually actually schizo. Yeah, um, I bet. But again, we're getting sidetracked here. Yes, a new update. Though it is nice to have a talking stream once in a while. I guess I'm sitting here talking, you know, as my job. So why not talk to the people in chat? You're all lovely. Unfortunately, every time I get a massive influx of viewers, there's always some asshole in the crowd. But that's just being famous today. Like I said. If somebody doesn't want you dead for something you're doing, you're not doing it right. Or you're not doing anything world-changing or important. Because that seems to be the thing. Dude was... Oh, right. That guy. Right. I didn't see any details. He's currently in the burn unit. Oh, he survived. Oh. Well, now he has a bit of a... A, a bit of time to think about how dumb that shit was. At least people don't ask if X is going to deliver anymore. And then somebody did reset the clock. <laughs> Again, there... I've said this a couple of times, but there is a timeline where I'm an SFM porn director. And I'm probably pretty famous. <laughs> because you know me, when I actually have time to put effort into things, boy, do I put effort into things. Just imagine, there, there's a me out there in, in, you know, in the wonderful identity sphere, in the mirror dimensions. There's a me who spent like two months learning how fluid physics works in SFM. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, Goon, if you play your cards right, no one will think you did anything at all. Well, that's playing your cards right. That's 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 the optimal route of I don't want to be famous. I just want all the money that fame require. Yo, know, you know, that fame entails without actually having anybody to bother me about it. As literally just I want money. Thanks. Not 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 necessarily any of this publicity shit. However, I'm gonna be. I'm, you know, I want the money to primarily to secure myself, but also to make entertainment spectacles. So I'm going back out there anyway. <laughs> But don't tell me we're going on another decor. Detour. Decor. Durr. I'll say that I'm quite done cleaning up these distorted messes. Look, we have to get to... Stop whining like a petulant child. There won't be more detours until we reach our current destination. Regilius furrowed his brow, walked up in front of the bus, and leaned against one of the first row chairs. He began leisurely shuffling through the documents. This is just an announcement. It says here that there will be changes to how your records of abnormalities, distortions, and Tecatula are categorized. Huh? Wait, so we gotta do a bunch of paperwork? No, once completed, your observation logs are all digitized and shared with the upper echelons of the company. Of course, if the observation logs themselves need to be edited, there may be orders to make direct adjustments by hand. However, the categorization of each entity will be updated automatically. They are merely informing the sinners of, update, of, of, of the upcoming changes. Yes, we're changing our end user license agreement and, you know, we're now letting AI handle everything. Future! It's nice to have someone else do the explaining for once. She is right. Virgilius, you never explain anything! What are you talking about? <laughs> you fucking revel you, in not explaining things, you fuck! What are you talking about? We just had an entire event where he just didn't say shit! What is he talking about? 
I presume that this has ought to do with the new types of Pecatulo we have encountered before, which is why we had to do that entire story update. Yes, but that isn't all. Virgilius closed his eyes wearily, wearily and lightly folded the papers in his hand. He called out two of the sinners. Yisang, Ishmael. He was pointing at Ishmael and Yisang. Yes, okay. Yeah. Yes. I'll leave it to you two model students to explain the contents of these documents. I don't feel like I'm up for the task of explaining what's on this paper to you all. Ha, huh. again, Virgilius explaining anything. I don't want to explain anything today. Virgilius, you never explain anything ever. <laughs> With that, Virgilius pretty much shoved the papers in paper in Ishmael's hands before taking a seat in the front row of the bus. Did he just dump his responsibility onto us? Yes, he did. Ishmael didn't seem too happy about this all of this, about this sudden turn of events. Still, she opened the documents and began reading. I can now if he, I can never tell if he actually doesn't care about us or if, if he's just naturally comes off as a cold person. Sigh. So what is it? What does the thing say? Is she? Okay, give me a sec. Does it say anything new about the abnormalities? Looks like these documents are from the LCD. The sender address. The sender address says. Oh, LCD. Is the department that contacted Major es uh, Manager Esquire? Major Esquire. Is it not? Ezra, was it? I still vividly remember her chaotic, bubbly voice coming through the radio. The former L Corp. Bah. Sinclair, what does that mean? The bus begins to fill with the familiar hectic buzz once again. Well, if you would allow me to, Miss Ishmael. <laughs> Would everyone shut the fuck up for five seconds so I can just read what's on the paper? <laughs> that's... That's a face. Yeah, that's a I'm about to call everyone a slur face. <laughs> that's what that expression is. Yisang chimed in to help with Ishmael's explanation of the documents, but... This is exactly why I'm the only per- oh, I'm the only one who ever reads the guides! <laughs> this is why I'm the only one who's ever trusted to do these things. Jesus Christ. Well, it- She's recovering from her chapter. It's great. I can see veins starting to pop in Ishmael's finger. <laughs> At this rate, she's going to drop the documents in favor of her mace. Well, she seems to be healthy again after her chapter. Wait, Ishmael, I got this. Calm down. Wait, don't have your, you know, your hair burst into flames. I did that last episode. It's not very pleasant. <laughs> I hurried over to Ishmael and practically hung onto the documents in her hands. We nearly tore the bundle of documents in half, but she quickly gave up and loosened her grip. Ryoshu, Otis, please keep Don Quixote and Heathcliff, Heathcliff quiet while I take care of this. Ryoshu, just doing Ryoshu things, having Ryoshu reactions. Shame we can't actually get her in the maid dress on screen, though. Damn. Without killing them or beating them up, please. <laughs> Again, is that an acronym? An actual an acronym, or she's just saying that? Can we get some clarification? Ryoshu slowly lowered... Don Quixote's lance she had picked up. That, again, sentence there. Don Quixote... That, that was rather quick. 
Ryoshi was going to beat Don Quixote over the head with her own lance. All right, then. If any, if you have any questions while Ishmael reads reads from the document, raise your hand to be recognized. Yi Sang, Faust, you guys don't need to raise your hands to speak, so please chime in if there are any details you can elaborate on. Yes, you you nerds that know everything. You you don't need to raise your hands. You're probably necessary for explanation anyway. Everybody else, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Is Dante becoming sensei now? Are we actually crossing over to, into that blue archive dimension there? Am I actually running a classroom full of idiots? Rodia, if anyone tries to speak out of turn, please smack them lightly on the head. If you, if you do good, I'll make sure to order you extra desserts during our team dinner. <laughs> you sure know how to motivate people, Dante. Yeah, after this point, uh, yeah, but yeah, by this point, probably. Unfortunately, we are, uh, as I said, we're all stuck together, so I've had to, you know, get accustomed to and learn all of your mental derangements. So, again, this is what I was talking about. Uh, real people in the world don't have a, uh, a life-threatening or world-ending plot tying them together, so they can just call each other assholes all damn day long and then abruptly leave without really doing anything else. No, no, but he, now, see, we're, we're in one of those situations here in this lovely bus, and so we actually have to get used to each other, or we're all going to die. Or, well, you'll die, you'll still die repeatedly in this situation. I'll die, and that'll be the end of it. Dante, get the idiots to read, Dante. <laughs> what what an impressive growth of leadership capabilities, executive manager. Yes, thanks, Otis. All right, first bug goes to the bonk, o Otis. Wait, wait, this wasn't... Shut up, Otis. A few minutes later, light tap on the head. Man, that sounded like some bones were crunching, but unfortunately, uh, Otis was hit full force with the, ho the horny bat. Very, very sad. How is that a light tap? It's dark light. Proportional response. The sinners are all, all immortal. So that means you ha kind of have to hit them harder in order to register anything because they, they're not really afraid of dying anymore. But that means you have to basically beat them within an inch of their life to make a fucking point. So proportional response. <laughs> After a quick commotion, I found the situation settled enough to return to the do documents, return the documents to Ishmael's hands. Then I'll leave it to you. Hmm. So the former L Corp, Corp, also known as Lobotomy Corporation, there's that fucking funny, funny word again, used to contain and manage the abnormalities that we faced in their branches. Yes, to generate power. Even taking into account that their strengths were suppressed by the Golden Bows, there was a pretty significant difference between their risk level categorizations and the actual risk involved in facing them. Oh, dear God, we're going back to the... Oh, dude, we're going to the... Do we actually have the SCP, you know, threat level index now? Is that what this is actually about? Other employees at the... the and the higher-ups of Limba's company also apparently felt that something was fami familiar yet off. And that's why they investigated the issue through the LCD department. Well, they generate green juice, which generates power. Yes, we, we, we put them in immense pain, and they secrete life-sustaining green juice that we basically use as oil. That's Encephalon. So far, there have been five categories of risk levels. Five? Aren't there only four of them? Rody up! Thank you! <laughs> Rodia punched Heathcliff in the crowd of his head and promptly slumped, and he, he promptly slumped to the ground, out cold. Maybe it was the suddenness of the attack that did it. Oops. You didn't kill him, did you? Nah, he'll be fine. It's Heath. It's not like I, I smacked him that hard. 
Anyway, Sinclair quietly raised his hand. All right, you can go ahead. Ishmael nodded at Sinclair. Well, I thought there were only four risk levels. Zayn, Teth, He, and Wa. Just like Heathcliff said. They're the only one we've seen so far. Yeah, uh, yeah, about that last level. But according to these documents, the highest risk level category is labeled Aleph. Yeah, th that. Yeah, yeah, mmm. Like I said earlier, these are pretty significant. There's a pretty significant disparity between their categorization standards and our experience with them in the field. Which is why they're apparently planning to make overhauls to those standards by Limbus Company standards. Right, okay, so by Limbus Company standards. Go ahead, Marcel. I must inquire what exactly this overhaul entails. Does this mean the abnormalities will be recategorized re within the pre-existing framework of categorization, good lord? Or will additional, additional risk level categories be created? It doesn't elaborate that far, but it says here that Lobotomy Corporation used each of our abnormalities and encephalon production capability to categorize them into different risk levels. Wait, they... I mean, I suppose that's one way of doing it, but why call it risk level when that's not actually risk? I mean, that's somewhat tied to risk. You could infer that, you know, the amount of encephalon this thing produces means that it's more powerful, but risk to the employees. I mean, but no, that's not it. Higher risk more reward. Well, no, that's just inferring that. If they're categorized by encephalon production capacity, then that's just the capacity that they... that It's just a scale based on that capacity. It's inferred that the more production capacity that something has, the stronger it is and thus uh, the higher, you know, threat it is, but that's not categorizing it as actual threat. That's just... So that's, you see, that's the problem. The risk ranks can, can and will lie to you. So just like Lobotomy Corporation. Yes, like that funny fucking bird. It's been years, but does everyone remember the funny bird? That, that's like one of the first, ap yo, uh, anomalies that you can actually get and is basically single-handedly, single-handedly capable of ending the game right there. I remember these things. The little red bird that could. There was also matchsticks, which wasn't that difficult to handle, but, you know, could cause a problem. Okay, so. Abnormalities. With more complicated, different... Difficult management conditions apparently produce more encephalon. I guess the more complicated the abnormality is, the harder they are to fight. That does line up with our own experiences, sort of. But yes, that's the key crux of the issue, is that it's inferring how, how hard it is to fight based on production levels, not actually documented, this is what this thing does. Yes, but that's the thing, Destroyer. If it breaks out, you, you kind of want to hit it, but that's see, that's the problem. But it can hardly be said that it was flawless. Looks to me that they're trying to make these risk levels better reflect our own our own field experience is. Which doesn't rule out the possibility of them adding more tiers to the pre-existing one. For we conduct not management, but combat against these foes, it is it is sensible that the standards of risk levels be adjusted in accordance to... Up. Oh. Radio, wait, Yisang can speak without raising his hand. <laughs> right, my bad. Little bit too fucking happy with that. No, no, no. 
Roy, Yi Sang is one of the honor students. They get, they're responsible. They get to actually speak their mind when necessary. I managed to stop Rodia just before her fist connected with Yi Sang's crown. It was almost as if she was moving based on pure instinct. <laughs> if anyone talks, they're dead. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. So that's why they're overhauling the risk levels based on the actual risk each abnormality poses in battle. So we do well to be wary of the possible changes to the risk levels written in the observation logs. Oh, and they'll let us know again once the precise details are decided. The next section is about distortions, which... Ah! Don Quixote raises her hand. Good. Good, Don. You're learning. But Ishmael continues to explain without coming to a stop. She probably just ignored her. Hmm. Don Quixote will remember this. So far, we've been using the same subject classification codes as, as abnormalities for distortions, but it's gotten pretty clear that there's a big difference between them. Enough to give these two groups distinct classification codes. The difference being... Hong Lu raised his hand and Ishmael nodded. Don Quixote appeared a bit crestfallen. <laughs> oh. The difference is that when defeated, abnormalities will transform into their egg-like forms, but distortions don't, am I right? Correct, distortions can be completely subdued simply by defeating them in battle. But any method of fully slaying an abnormality is yet to be discovered, even in theory. Ah, so right, they, they, they go back into eggs like Pokemon, which is interesting. So, so not only does that so not only is that the only way of, of containing abnormalities that that we don't actually have a way of actually permanently killing them. Okay, good that that was clarified. We can't actually kill them. So she says, well, we've all had first experience against them, so I sh it shouldn't be too hard to understand. Ooh, here comes the last subject. This one's about the Pecatula. They're going to give them a classification code scheme different from the abnormalities as well, including the new type of Pecatula we recently encountered. Let's see. Classification basis, abnormalities, and distortions both have elements of uniqueness that is missing in each individual Pecatula. Considering this, they have been... It has been deemed... Okay, I don't really get what this is talking about. Faust walked up next to Ishmael to begin to explain. Oh, and begin to ex and began to explain. Uniqueness in this context refers to the fact that that no same entity exhibits the same location. It would be helpful to recall that our encounters with the Pecatula have always been against multiple duplicates of the same category of Pecatula. However, no such encounters have been made against distortions and abnormalities. Hopefully, this has been a sufficient explanation for all. Yes, they're they're the mooks. The Pecatula are ads. Therefore, they don't earn the same... They, they require different classifications from the boss monsters. Thank you, Faust. Right, so simply put, we can just toss them Pecatula all into the same bin, but each and every one of the abnormalities and distortions is special and unique, huh? They could have explained it much easier than... Heathcliff, when did you regain consciousness? <laughs> well, fix that! Heathcliff seemed to have woken up from his coma, but was sent right the fuck back into it. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to that extra dessert. Uh-huh. His mom moment of lucidity barely lasted a moment. On this episode, Heathcliff gets bonked. Hong Lu raised his hand like a good little boy. <laughs> that's why he didn't get smacked over the head with something. And that's all there is to it. Phew. 
this is pretty great, huh? It's refreshing doing something like this once in a while. Yes, now that we've established fucking classroom etiquette. <laughs> Don Quixote has not lowered her hand since Ishmael ignored her the first time, even for a brief moment. Is she making ooh, ooh, ooh noises too? I can see that. Fine, ask away. Does thus know the name of the LCD employee who have composed that report? Ishmael seemed a bit taken aback that Don Quixote actually managed to ask a rather sensible question. Wow. Even though it was asked with the very same enthusiasm she has when talking about fixers, that is. Right. So who do we have to thank? Oh, sure. Give me a sec. Sender, LCD on-site investigation, investigative reasoning team leader, Moses. Well, we might as well keep that name in mind since we'll probably run into them sooner or later. I'm sorry for ignoring you, Don Quixote. Hmm. Though Don Quixote was finally given the answer she so passionately craved, she did not appear to be happy or excited about it. Instead, she seemed to be absorbed in deep thought. Don Quixote, deep thought. That usually means trouble. See also distortion detective. Man, am I am out of uh, am I out of the loop with all of this additive material? Something wrong, Don Quixote. I recall hearing that name in the past, yet I cannot quite recall as to who that name may have belonged to. Okay, now we're actually done. Darn, thought I'd be able to collect a bit more dessert. That was more time consuming than it than it was initially expected, Dante. Now. Alright, it's about time. Alright then, I hereby confirm today's close of business for the sinners. Go the fuck to sleep! This could have dragged on for much longer, but the sinners were thankfully pretty cooperative, so we managed to finish our day early. I followed the sinners to the back door of the bus, my heart a little lighter than it, it, it was mm, than it was at the start of the end, uh, start of the day. Huh? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Heathcliff? Unconscious? Yeah! Hey guys! The main character for the next chapter is unconscious in the corner. We kind of... Guys, we kind of need to drag his body into the back. Guys! Guys! It took me about 30 minutes to realize that we had left Heathcliff out cold on the bus floor. <laughs> oh. Oh, I... Oh, so I, I... I also forgot. I also totally forgot that, you know... You, you know, you, you know, we left Heathcliff unconscious, but that's what he gets for, gets for breaking the rule twice. Okay, so it begins finally. Good, because we only have an hour and a half. And now, the heartbreaking. Forty-eight, and there's apparently no dungeon, but. It begins. We begin the woothering. That's not Kurawa, it. Sister. Wow, actual voice acting. That's not enough time. Yeah, no, we're not finishing it all today, and we have other things to do tomorrow, so I suppose I'm coming back Sunday to finish everything, but... Hey, look, I can actually take a break from reading. Thank God. Anyway. I mean, part three is virtually one long dungeon without the ego gifts. Uh, well, we'll see how that goes. Purple flowers, huh? Oh, 
모멸감과 무너짐을 안겨주었던 그 저택으로 난로불 가운데가 아닌 차가운 모퉁이 어기만이 네 자리였던 그 저택으로 황야에서 돌아와 이제 집으로 올 시간이야 아하 All right, I still have to read Dante's dialogue. Dang! I thought I was free. So this is what T Corp's nest looks like. Yep, everything's sepia. We had surprisingly little trouble making it past the nest's borders. I guess my concerns were unfounded. Unfortunately, I I, I don't get a break from reading. Damn. 뭐 다행히도 이번 둥지 입국 심사는 별일 없이 넘어왔네요. I'm hoping everyone starts talking over me so I don't have a moment to talk. <laughs> 아이, 이 정도야 뭐. 아이, 에이, 에이, 칭찬은 굳이 안 해도 괜찮다고 하지 않았어. <웃음> 아무도 하진 않았는데. 다 컸어, 이제. <웃음> Everyone seems awfully relaxed for having just entered a, a different nest. I guess everyone's gotten used to this by now. Hum drum routine. I guess they'd be the words to describe the general sentiment, sentiment among the sinners. Except for one, that is. Oh, look! The main characters returned from consciousness. We're headed to this place called Wuthering Heights next, right? I couldn't... I could tell from Heathcliff's glum expression that his mind was weighed down by all kinds of complicated concerns. Yeah, I bet. Huh? Oh, Those, though his eyes were staring at the moving scenery past the windows, his mind was affixed on something that his eyes couldn't see. Something that laid beyond the, bu uh, the building walls. <laughs> Name drop! Huh? <sighs> 그 저택은 바람이 칠할 맞게 불었어. 아늑한 구석은 하나도 찾을 수 없는 곳이었지. 히트콥's voice carried an unusually dark tone. The other sinners on the bus noticed this and began chatting him up. 고향에 당도한다니 마음이 참 복잡하겠소. Yeah, I'd say that. Relationship issues. The book. Hmm. 고양이라. 뭐. 태어난 곳이 아니라 자라온 곳이긴 한데. 하긴. 그것도 고양이라면 고양이겠지. 근데 보통 고양하면 떠올리는 감정은 아니야. <웃음> 하면. That is to say, he hates the fucking place, Sang. I have a feeling that... Uh, the, uh, maybe not entirely called me out, but I'm gonna be able to emphasize with Heathcliff's feelings here. Okay, maybe not that much, but boy, do, boy have I hated some people in my past. Yeah, this canto broke a lot of people. Uh, it's just a it's just a nice story about a guy who comes back to this place that he fucking hates and sees all these people that he also fucking hates. Oh, well, look at that. That's actually a heartwarming lesson. <laughs> Guys, we just did that for the, like, the entire last mini. I, 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 I don't think it was required. Oh, 
신체 절단과 신경 조직 손상 중에. Ryoshu, your horny face is showing. 머리 같은 데를 세게 쥐어박는 정도는 괜찮지 않을까요? Again, guys, what did we just do? 아니 이 새끼들. 나한테 쌓인 걸 풀라는 의미가 아니라고. 지금 진지하게. 그래도 지금의 히스클리프 씨라면 잘 해내실 것 같다는 생각이 들어요. 뭔 소리야? 지금이라니? 지금의 히스클리프 씨는 가난하고 남은 게 아무것도 없잖아요. 뭐? 가난? 이제는 아예 대놓고 시비 걸기로 작정했냐? 내가? 아, 아니 오해가 있으신 것 같아요. Rich boy says the dumb thing. Or at eleven. Hong Lu is far from the most talkative sinner, but he, when he does speak, he usually has something insightful to say. Though, since he never says it in a way that's immediately obvious, his words are very prone to misunderstandings. 저희는 모두 가난해요. 그러니 예전과는 많은 게 달라졌을 거예요. 어쩌면 가진 게 아무것도 없을 때가 되어서야 몰랐던 걸 깨달을 수도 있으니까요. 아하. 가난하였어. 이렇게 구릿구릿한 색깔을 계속 가지고 다녀야 하는 거요? Yes, we're poor, so we don't get any colors. Sign the crown. <laughs> Welcome to England, bitch. <laughs> Don Quixote looked mournfully at everything around her, and then at herself. She sounded like she was about to cry. Everything had been drained of color since the moment we entered T Corp, though through the back streets. It feels like even more of our colors have been taken away since then. Can't achieve her dreams of being a color fixer when they've taken all taken it for. <laughs> Karen, you bitch! Give me back my color! Or I suppose in this case, if we wanted to be entirely accurate, it would be Kathy, you bitch. <laughs> I was wondering when we'd bring that up. Uh, maybe we'll get our colors back soon. I'm reading things unconsciously. Damn it, I'm sorry. I got still got I, I got too used to doing that. But guys, isn't sepia a color? So. Isn't that better than black and white? But I suppose sepia is less than black and white because black and white is two colors still. So if everything is just kind of old timey, kind of tan, it's one single unified mass or getting closer to it, right? I think it's about 10 hours ago. 가도 가도 원상 복귀가 되지 않잖아. 이대로 평생 칙칙하게만 살아야 하는 거야? 이러면 식욕도 떨어져. 살아갈 의지가 없어지게 된다고. <웃음> Dear God, I look like a, uh, we live in a ragtime film. I'm quickly losing my my will to live. Jesus Christ, guys. It's literally guys, everything is just sepia toned. Calm down. 고기를 먹어도 고기가 Thank you, Greg. Yes, they're rich. They get they get to have color. With an annoyed look, Rodia gestured towards the people outside the bus. 개인 분들께 해드린 답변을 합치면 스물세 번째 답변이긴 합니다만 색깔을 돌려받으려면. <laughs> I wonder if they went back into the script and actually counted this, or they just made up 23 separate occasions. I wonder if there were actually 23 separate occasions during, like, Yi Sang's chapter where they brought this up and everyone said, Yeah, you're not allowed to have fucking colors here. 
저 정도로 색깔을 돌려받은 거면 코트에 바지에. Why don't you go back and look? That would be incredibly time consuming. <웃음> 저 새끼는 별로 잘 살지도 못하면서 허세만 있는 놈이야. 진짜 부자들은 안경테나 장신구까지 색깔을 되찾거든. 아하. Uh-huh. Okay, so See that guy, his coat's only red. He's Which way? He's new rich. 피스클리프 씨도 이곳에 살고 있을 동안은 계속 색을 보지 못한 상태였나요? 아니. 저택은 어느 정도 예외였어. 그래도 여전히 색이 고린 곳이긴 했지만. 동, 의, 구려. 피의 색 정도는 되찾았으면 싶군. Even the blood isn't the same, says Ryoshu. Jesus Christ. 그런데 저 자식 말이야. 저렇게 어설프게 색깔을 가진 채로 쏘다니면 괜히 뒤통수 얻어맞기 딱일 텐데. Exactly like that. Heathcliff's predictions came true soon enough. Several thieves surrounded the bloke who's only trying to come off as though he's loaded and bashed him in the back of the head. Oh, are you? You got a license for that color? Wonk. Time? 내가 떠나올 때만 해도 저런 버러지 같은 것들은 저렇게 버젓이 돌아다니지도 않았어. 당연하지. 내가 있었던 갱단은 저런 식으로 만만한 놈한테 우르르 몰려가지 않았다고. 다른 생생 달리고 싶어. 길이 막혀서 부릉부릉 못해. Do we need to get out and kill people again? Oh, 여기서 시간을 지체하는 것도 의미가 없지. Yep, getting out there and killing people again. So finally spoke up after quietly listening in on our discussion for the last few minutes. 동키오테가 시끄럽게 굴기 전에 내려서 처리하고 오도록. Kill them before the moron starts acting virtuous again. What? 정이지 피곤. Too late. Killjabi is too excited now. Now. Well, that's a little bit more distinct than it was in game, don't you think? But yes, red. Ooh. Okay, so there's a. There's no time. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so. Okay, level twenty-five. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, so blood damage is apparently our friend for this entire chapter, so we will work on that. So, put Bane Salt in there, and also, now we get to pull out Chess Kyote, which is level 45. They really are low-level thugs. Hmm. Blood is your friend for part one. Yes, okay, so... We don't necessarily need Heathcliff, however, Heathcliff has Envy cards, which helps out Dawn. Uh, I think everybody else has... I mean, we've got tons of Lust, that's kind of what we're working with here. Okay, so, nice that they added this, they showcase exactly what the Ego resources are here. Very nice. Okay, so envy. Do we need to alter anything for envy? Actually, we might be able to. Uh, we can't do it. Well, we could do it, but actually, using. Well, actually, no. There's really no point. Granted that base Heathcliff does have blunt and envy cards, but he's level thirty, and that won't that won't quite do. Part two is slash and envy and gloom. Oh, so it changes. All right, well, then these encounters are going to be nothing, so we might as well just stick with what we have. He's also base Heathcliff. Base Heathcliff isn't that bad. 
But uh, if, as far as I know, the the best starting sinners are still Otis and Sinclair, correct? If I remember correctly, those are still the headliners for best base identities. People have beaten the last boss with base heat. I'm not surprised. Maybe we'll do that just for the spectacle. Dead rabbits? Oh boy. Interesting background noise we have here, or background music, I should say. They began rushing at us with bloodshot eyes, not giving Heathcliff the time to even finish his sentence. Well, they're level 25, so that's not really going to be that problem. But well, yeah, welcome to England. Here's your, your complimentary shanking and mugging. And dear Christ, wow, that... Well, it makes the colors stand out for all the sin egos. You know, the, the sins, you know, cards and egos. Man. Okay, so... This shouldn't be too much of an issue to basically just steamroll through. <laughs> Three health? You left him with three health? Why did you do that, Maid Ryoshu? Just to see him suffer? We need to get her to level 45. I forgot, it tells you what to use outside of boss fights. Oh. Or, you know, it tells you, you know, blunt damage and slow. Yeah, in the, uh, the, the prompt before we enter. So, yeah. Is she up to four? Nope, sadly not. <laughs> I'm saving all my resources to get this done, so I haven't actually expended more to get more experience. Very sad. We're probably going to wind up... Well, actually, I, I think we'll make it through just fine, but I don't want to risk, you know, coming up short in terms of Enkefellon to finish the fucking chapter. But like I said, we're not finishing the whole thing tonight. <laughs> he could casually mag dumps like two dudes. Problem solved! It's gonna get a little rough for part three, as expected. Can you get Shinnasan? I didn't go on. Do I hit your cops? Not you just check in there. Oh, there's more combat. Yes, bring more blunt damage. Okay, so these encounters are very trivial. Yeah, no. 
어차피 다 가져가세요. 제 시계에서 원하시는 만큼 시간을 빼가셔도 됩니다. Over dramatic civilian. His clip gun. Heathcliff was looming, looming over the man and growling threaten, threateningly. He, he certainly fit the look of a villain from this particular angle. Yeah. 방금 건 그냥 칭찬한 거잖아. 이놈이 유독 오버해서 반응하는 거라고. What? I just he has a nice hat. What? <웃음> 저, 저는 이거 빼고는 완전 아무것도 없어요. 낙지 같은 걸 해봤자 돈 나올 거 덕지가 없다고요. 납치는 안 됩니다. 집에 기다리는 가족들이 있어요. The man we inadvertently saved from the hands of thieves was shuddering and screaming incoherently, almost to an unnatural degree. And we were still not out of out of the dark alleyways where other thieves might be waiting to to get the jump on us. Ah, 무슨 시끄러운 소리가? 어? 이것들 뭐야? 아 이렇게 시간이 굴러 들어온다고? 10분 아니 5분이라도 좋으니까 얼른 도대체가 아, 이놈이고 저놈이고 왜 다들 시간 타령인 거야? 아니면 아니면 모조리 해체한 뒤에 저 시계를 뺏어 가는 방법밖에 없겠지. 아하. 그 다음 Overdue T Corp Gang. Overdue, huh? Wait, me? Yeah, overdue. Yeah, so what happens when you run out of time, guys? I bet it's nothing good. Gang Chung. The mission fails if Dante is killed, by the way. Make sure to keep him protected. <laughs> right, thank you for the code and call, Chair Phillips. They go to the happy farm, probably. Yes, the happy valley. They go to the happy valley. And everyone's more sane from that. Ryoshu, you're making people waste ammo. Be more efficient and less of a sadist, thank you. I like a maid who resolves problems today, please, thank you. Everyone's got all of these negative status effects. <laughs> See, that's efficiency. Thank you. She heard me and then killed the two dudes. No. <laughs> Weren't we just here? Chara, 쓸데 없이 네가 비명 지르는 바람에 일이 자꾸 꼬이잖아. 당장 안 닥치면 사람 먹는 버스로 끌고 간 다음에 저 고철 덩어리한테 먹이는 수가 있다. 어? He's not making that up. 그러면. 저를 납치하러 온 사람들이 아닌가요? 그래 몇 번이나 말했던 것 같지만 그럴 리가 없지 않소! 우리 앤 우연히 지나가는 정의로운 림본! 
<laughs> Out of breath. <coughs> She's trying so, so hard not to say it. Time is money, youngster! This is actually kind of a clever turn of phrase that they're doing, but why? So, what's going on here? Just a passing by bus night of justice. Well, chair filler, that's what a knight errant is, and Don Quixote would know all about that one. Man, I can't wait for Don Quixote's chapter and subsequent mental breakdown. I, I know, it's gonna be fantastic. Everyone else is gonna be sitting there crying, you know, like, yo, know, lay rolling on the uh, on the floor, crying their eyes out, and I'm just gonna be sitting here, hmm, yes, interesting. Hmm, I wonder how I could fit this into a Necronica campaign. Adjust glasses. That's going to be me! Guys, it, is it just me again? The T-Corp pamphlet guide. Did no one really... No. Nobody did read it. Ishmael's eyes start to glaze over. Once again, she may have been the only sinner who bothered to read up on our destination. Ishmael is going to call everyone a slur again. Watch out, guys. Tisa. Time Trek Saisonen. It's Time Track Corporation. Aha. Because, oh god, I forgot about the Night of the Mirrors. No. Yeah, guys, as, as I said before in the last stream, if somebody mentions the Enchanter or the Night of the Mirrors, you mag dump and you don't think twice. Because, uh, yeah, that's kind of... Well, it's kind of the only villain that Don Quixote actually has. And, uh, we'll see how they twist that, because, yeah! It'd be, you know, rather easy to infer that Don Quixote has horrible amounts of mental Ill mental derangements, because that's Don Quixote. But, uh, yeah, I, be concerned if those names ever come up. And it'd totally be on par, it, it would absolutely, totally be on point for them to call an abnormality or something like that the Night of the Mirrors. <laughs> I Read the fucking briefings, you Philistines. So is this going to be a problem? Otis is the only one of us who carries a watch. Ah, 그 시간이 멈춰 있는 소목식의 말씀이죠? 패션용으로 착용하고 있는. Aha. 패션용인 적은 없었다. 무례한 말을. Well, lots of people wear watches for no fucking better reason other than it looks cool, Otis. 그리고 아까 말한 납치라는 건 무슨 뜻이었어? 아, 티사 길거리엔 사람들이 마구잡이로 납치당한다는 흉흉한 소문이 돌고 있었어요. That's a strong reaction from Otis. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if we should ask about that, but no. Shh, Don Quixote chapter. No. Shh. No. Otis, you get your screen time. Actually, Otis is having tons of screen time now with everyone fawning over hag sex on Twitter. No, shh. She gets screen time late. <laughs> we'll ask later. いろけてろだにしに。そもねなっちじょじぎんがへそ。こっちじょこのまれぼどろ。床は違う。<笑> Hmm. 
마, 마침 여기 굴러다니고 있는 디타임즈 신문지 일면에도 쓰여있네요 우리 무중인 납치 사건, 충격, 경악, 공포 시체조차 한 군도 발견되지 않아 You know, you know Diamond <웃음> Dogs just kind of started playing in my head there <웃음> Hmm. Hunt you to the ground, they will. Mannequins with kill appeal. Hmm. Result Rodia and Don Quixote began enthusiastically reading the sensationalized titles and the attached articles on the newspaper he showed us. Come out of the garden, baby. You'll catch your death in the fog. Oh, yeah. They call them the Diamond Dogs. Bow wow, woof woof, bow wow. Award-winning eater. Ah, 시간에서 해결사들이 이런 인터뷰를. Are you guys even reading the same article? 확실해. 평소보다 지나다니는 인간들이 훨씬 줄어들었어. Okay, so time is in fact money. 여기는 원래 공장으로 일하러 가는 노동자나 조자 판장들의 팔로 나온 발명가들이 붐비던 거리야. 이렇게 거리가 텅텅 비었던 적은 없었는데. Did she say time refusal, uh, retrieval fixers? Yes. Hmm. The empty street of T-Corp was thick with fog. The bustling crowd from Heathcliff's memories nowhere to be seen. Maybe the lack of color made the fog appear even thicker. 일전, 검게와의 서동에서 들었던 괴담과 흡사한 이야기인 것 같군. <laughs> 행방불명이라... 역시 사람을 납치해서 팔아넘기는 악질적인 조직이 있는 걸까요? 그런 놈들이 대놓고 활보한다는 이야기는 못 들었는데 적어도 내가 있었을 때 인신매매 따위가 목적인 조직이 있다면 흔적 하나들은 남을 수밖에 없다 거리를 이렇게 만들 정도로 거대한 움직임이라면 더더욱 시체 안돌 정도는 찾기 마련이다 지체도 남지 않는다는 건 단지 죽거나 죽이는 정도의 내용이 아닌 깊이 파고들수록 위험한 일일 수 있다는 건가요? If it's not just another violent tragedy, then maybe there's more to this than we think. Maybe there's some powerful organization pulling the strings. Guys, when was this our problem? But okay, yes. Immediately hopping to solving the case. The morons are on the case! ね。ディックルモゲパミッチャナ。ケツ청소ボディリチナカミョン。シチェルプアマンスレギドルン。チョンボチョンソデオイスニカ。ロクン。シチェカジマルコマギチョボリスティケンネ。タニオニスレギマ
<laughs> Sinclair, that is one horrendous way to fail a speech check. Everyone seems to be on edge, thanks to the unsettling story we heard earlier. Guys, we're, we're a bunch of maniacs roving around in a bus, uh, all of which you, all, all of you who are technically immortal, asterisk. Why is anyone concerned? I know what to do. You, I do? Hey Heathcliff, that invitation, can you read it out loud for us again? It'll be a good idea to remind ourselves of the current mission. Besides, I could use a refresher myself. Yes, because nobody fucking listens. <laughs> The neatly folded invitation Heathcliff produced from his pockets completely betrayed his attempt at appearing aloof. It was folded, folded with such tender care that it almost resembled a, a neat paper craft. He cleared his throat. Yeah, yeah hmm. I wonder why he's holding on to that so gingerly. <clears throat> Sometime later! Pudi, Chamsokashio, E. Charidir, Pinajushimon, Kamsagishimida. Oh, Rodi is all in and on that romantic fucking tie in there. Thanks, Rodi. <laughs> Guys, I don't think anybody should be celebrating about this. That's... that's just my intuition. This, this wasn't exactly what I had in mind when I asked him to read the letter. <laughs> yes, Ishmael, that's exactly what we are. How did Gregor clap? That's a great question, Destroyer, wait a minute! One hand clapping from Greg. Yeah, look at all this frilly cursor. Some sinners gather in a circle like they're doing a literary analysis of, of the invitation letter. Maybe I was worrying too much. Yep, everyone's certainly now distracted. See? Kidnapping, murders! That's fine. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Sinclair, we saw your chapter. You know, we know that's the biggest fucking lie ever. <laughs> I mean, yes, he, he, he is... He is a pasty fuck, so if he blushes even a little, it looks like he's going up like a furnace, so, uh... Also, yeah, how she can- wait! Yeah, how can she tell?! Dot! Dot, everything's sepia! How can you tell?! Uh, hey, what's with that odd sorry look on your face? Huh? Kurunde 
그런 말은 좀 너무하네요. 아니, 그런 무례한 말을 한 것이 아니라 나는... Everyone's fucking retarded! 농담이에요, 농담. 저도 이상 씨랑 같은 걸 느꼈으니까요. 티사 어딘가에 있을 로봇톰이 지부가 아니라 다 같이 워더링 하이츠라는 저택으로 향한다는 건... Which there's probably a lobotomy court branch underneath said manor. 그곳으로 도달해야 황금 가지를 얻을 수 있다는 소리일 테니까. 정확하게 짚어주었구려, 이스마엘 양. 찬물 끼얹는 역할을 하는 것도 슬슬 지겨워져서 입을 닫고 있었는데. 때마침 고마운 지적을 하는군. Yeah, we're not here for some fucking frilly dress-up party. We're here for the fucking wish twig. 우리가 워더링 하이츠로 향하는 이유가 설마 저 편지 한장 때문이라고 생각한다면 큰 실망을 느꼈을 거다. 그래서 이 문맥을 보면 결국 하려는 말이 아니 아니 그보다는 이 어투를 봐야지. <laughs> Greg, how do you infer tone through text? Well, 일단 넘어가죠. ACCB로부터 황금가지의 관측 보고가 있었습니다. 위치는 워더링 하이츠 저택 어딘가. 하지만 특유의 보안 시스템으로 인해 ACCB 팀이 잠입하는 것은 위험 부담이 크므로 황금가지의 정확한 위치는 파악이 되지 못했습니다. 특유의 보안 시스템? 아, 그런 게 있었나? What you mean the help? 그렇다면 더더욱 네 이상하다고밖에 말할 수 없겠네요. 동의하오. 비록 황금 가지의 값어치와 그 위상에 대해 정확히 알고 있는 것은 아니지만. 평범한 저택 안에 그런 것이 놓여 있을 리가 만무할 것 같소. 황금 가지가 처음부터 그곳에 위치해 있었던 것은 아니었다. 정도만 말씀드리죠. 아하. 티사 로보토미즈부 어딘가에 있었던 황금 가지가 모종의 이유로. 저택으로 옮겨졌다는 것이구려. This would be the likely explanation. 캐서린이라는 인물이 이번 작전의 핵심이겠군요. 황금 가지를 자기 저택 안에 소유하고 있는 자라니. 그리고 황금 가지가 아니더라도 히스클리프 씨가 자신을 보러 저택에 와줄 거라고 믿어 의심치 않는 아주 자신만만한 사람일 거고요. 아, uh, ish. You are uh, maybe going out on a limb a couple of steps too far with that one. Uh, you, you might, you might, might be wrong there. None of this conversation seemed to even register to Heathcliff, however. 혹시 주위에 이발소나 양품점이 보이면 말해줘. 무슨 명소마다 멈춰서는 관광 버스로 생각하고 있는 건 아니겠지. 그냥 나를 내려주고 먼저 가도 되잖아. 이따라 갈수 있어. 제가 두눈 커다랗게 뜨고 계속 보고 있는데 말이죠, 히스클리프 씨. 아까의 그 소문 때문인지는 몰라도 이 시간에 길거리에 열려 있는 가게가 보이지 않아요. 안개가 자욱해서 더 그런가 싶기도 하네요. 아하. 역시 저랑 노자 씨한테 맡겨 보시는 게 제일. <웃음> 아이씨. 야 잠깐, 잠깐. Ang Lu and Rodia open a fucking a, a hairdressing salon. Colors, yes. Uh, yeah, we're uh, we're we're getting there. 
very slowly. Unfortunately, I only about to have, have, have about another half an hour, so it looks like it's gonna be mostly reading. Does this say how many? Yeah, no, okay. It doesn't say how many uh, uh, stages there are in this chapter. The bus emerged from the back streets into a rather quiet looking village. The fog was still thick and everything was still in that faded hue. Even the occasional sightings of pedestrians had ceased. The very idea of color variation seemed like an alien concept here. All I see are orange hued lights coming through the windows of misty gray buildings. It was though it was as though everyone decided to stay indoors for the day. Ah yes, halogen. I can't even tell where we are, or how close we are from our destination anymore. Have you been here by any chance, Yi Sang? He was the only other sinner who had spent a while in T Corp, so I decided to ask if he recognized anything. But it was evident that this scenery was unfamiliar to him. Part one is leading to the manor. Part two is exploring the manor. Part three is resolving the manor. I see. Part one is going to Luigi's mansion, and part two and three are in fact Luigi's mansion. <laughs> Yeah, that's what this episode is. Wuthering Heights, no, no, this is Luigi's Mansion, man. <laughs> Can't imagine doing any research at a place like this. Can't have been easy. Ikusketsmion <laughs> Well, we already did power through some plumber-looking deadbeats before. <laughs> Luigi ID went. So who gets the vacuum cleaner? No, no. Nobody make a joke about Otis and having the suck. No? I already thought of it. Down. <laughs> Yi Sang looks away to a place far beyond from here. Memories of his past, most likely. <laughs> Don. Don gets the suck. <laughs> Do you know what the specific plot Did you ever hear anything? Synchro Sync. Yeah, well, uh, well uh, clearly there's sin. Clearly their singularity is whatever the fuck is making everything dra yo know, is draining the color from everything, but what does it do? Yes, it eats the color, but what does it do with the color? Aside from run all the fucking factories. <laughs> Probably. And it involves time. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. He sang pause and carefully began to speak. パウスティアンマニアルゲスマン。ティサガ、ホジダドロブトクニモフシセグルペアサガネニュージンハナジョ。クゲセギランボスンサンガニンデ。シガネピランジョグロチェオヤンゴシラミアン。ピッカヤン
that's a that is a way of wrapping that together, I guess. 제가 알고 있는 시간에 대해서까진 추론이 가능했습니다만 파우스트가 가진 티사의 특이점과 관련된 지식에 접근하기까지는 저에게 아직은 시간이 걸린다는 말도 덧붙여야 하겠군요. 
그런데 좀 씁쓸하네요 특이점으로 인해서 평생 색을 모른 채로 살아가는 사람들도 있단 거잖아요 This is just the city 뭐다 그런 거지 우리도 어쩌면 지금 다른 사람이 볼때 뭣도 모르고 사는 불쌍한 사람일 수도 있으니까 뭐가 되었든 고기 맛을 한번 본 적이 있다는 게 무서운 거야 평생 모르고 살면 좋을 텐데 기어코 고기 맛을 보면 알기 전으로 돌아가기는 불가능하니까 아하 <웃음> 햇빛이 색깔까지 보이지 않는 건 아쉽네요 하늘의 색이 그리워질 때는 많았어 특히 약게 비가 올 때는 그래, 그런 것들도 각자 알던 하늘의 색이 있었으니까 아쉽고 그리워지게 되는 거지 처음부터 이곳의 하늘만 보고 살다 죽는다면 그건 불행도 아닐 거야 Yeah, except you're still living in a fucking cage erected by the city Yeah, I suppose if you, if you don't, if if you don't know there's more outside, how could you possibly feel bad about it? But that in itself is rather miserable, ain't it? 그것까지 불행하다고 말한다면 오히려 오만한 게 되는 거지. Yeah, uh, sure, Rody. Sure, Rody. Sure. 그렇게 생각할 수도 있겠네요. 그거 해보자. 가장 좋아하는 색깔이 뭔지에 따라서 각자 성격을 알수 있다던데. 아하. r o d i a who was the one to chill the bus in the first place, was also the first. To break the, the ice. 이상이 하늘색을 좋아하는 거라면 어디 보자. 고요하고 조용한 당신, 생각에 빠져 잠기는 걸 좋아하는군요. 오, 어떻게 하는 것이오? 그거 참 기묘한 재주로군. 나도 나도 해줘. 나는 말이지 붉은색이 좋소. 아, 아니 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 노란색. 아니 붉은색? 아니 아니. 아. <웃음> 자, 차례를 기다려. 그 다음에는 파우스트. 저는... 잠깐, 잠깐. 무슨 말 할지 다 알아. 파우스트는 대체로 그런 걸 믿지 않는답니다. 라고 하겠지? <웃음> oh, no! Oh, no. <웃음> right. Happy Big Friday, g o o Sagasu? Thank you, sir. Welcome back. Thank you for resubscribing. But, uh... Yeah, ooh. Burn. 그런 사람은 대체로 흰색을 좋아하더라고. 그렇지? 자기 머리색이랑도 똑같네. Yes, because you're boring. 그저 말을 아끼겠습니다. <웃음> 나 제일 좋아하는 색깔? I'm looking at the names here. We still have those colors. 참뭘 그딴 걸 물어봐 남사스럽게 나는 어 Is it going to be purple flowers? A great manner begins to emerge into our view from a distance. I could immediately tell that this was the Wuthering Heights manor Heathcliff had mentioned. 검은색. Ah, oh, I was wrong. 모든 물감을 다 섞어버리면 나오는 색 아닌가? 그거. Oh. I mean, yes. 그래서 제일 볼만한 색깔이지. 덧칩만 계속 해버리면 되는 거니까. Hmm. I can clearly hear that Heathcliff is muttering through gritted teeth. I have a feeling that Black wasn't always his favorite guy. No! What gave it away, me? 
I have a feeling that this may have in inadvertently stumbled upon some prior emotional trauma. Hmm. What gave it away? The makeover. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we're gonna get to the front gates of the manor and that's where we're gonna stop. And oh, we're already here. And hey, look, new bus art for the first time in fucking forever. Do things change the moment the Wuthering Heights Manor appeared over the horizon? Cole, Cole, are you still alive? Yeah, well, I'm going to die. Why are you dying, Mr. Cliff? One was Heathcliff, who was suddenly overcome with intense anxiety. And the other was the weather that grew dark and tempestuous all of a sudden. Yep, welcome to Luigi's Mansion. What a terrifying noise. As fine Britain weather, yes. Watering Heights and Ashen, on the two don't pretty good attachment. Bolly Saman Badu, so take it from my cuneo. Timtiman Mune Carrot, Timtimake, Totta Pongega Ponta Ponta Nunapa. This manor looked as though it came straight out of a dark, gothic tale full of mysteries. I was half expecting to hear a haunting cry echoing from its windows. We're gonna hear that. So are we just waiting for Virgilius to go off the bus again? Mm, <laughs> Yep, there we go. Yep, everybody knows everybody's shit by now. Character development. None of, their, none of the sinners were hiding their dissatisfaction with Virgilius. Some of them were even standing with their arms crossed. You're a horrible district manager. Well, maybe not every sinner. We've gone through a lot of things, survived various trials and tribulations. Tribulations that could have been easily handled had Virgilius had been there with us. So... Looks like Ishmael decided to step up as our representative. 길잡이라고 우리에게 소개하지 않았나요? 그런데 길잡이는커녕 매번 작전마다 우리를 출발선에 내려두고 카론 씨랑 무엇을 하러 다니는 건데요? 쓸데없이 짜증 부리는 게 아니라고요. 이 점은 확실히 하죠. 저는 당신을 신뢰하고 싶으니까 물어보는 거예요. 같은 부서의 동료라면 적어도 업무관 행선지 정도는 공유하자고요. Virgilius held his silence for a moment. His his brows were not as furrowed as they usually are, which was the only indication to me that he wasn't uh, offended to hear as offended to hear this as I thought he'd be. 너희가 특정 계약을 통해 이곳에 입사를 한 것처럼 나 역시도. 어떤 조건이 적혀 있는 계약서를 통해 이곳에 입사했지. I'm not allowed to save all of your dumb asses unless it's really fucking important. 왜? 특색 나리께서도 계약서를 썼다는 말인 겐가? 당연하지 않나. 내가 아무 손익 계산 없이 
이 버스에서 철부지들을 동솔하고 있겠나? Nobody is in the city. 자세한 계약의 내용까지 너희에게 말해줄 생각도 없고 언급해서도 안 되겠지만 이스마엘, 네가 말한 신뢰라는 단어는 제법 마음에 들었다. 그러니 간단하게만 언급해두지. 나는 황금 가지를 직접 회수해서도 직접적인 도움을 제공해서도 안 된다. 오로지 여기 있는 관리자 그리고 너희 수감자들에게 맡겨야만 하지. But why? 왜 그런 계약을? What exactly you here for anyway? 언제나 왜냐고 묻는 것은 의미가 없다. 아하. Uh -huh. 계약이란 건 당사자가 아닌 자들이 완전하게 이해할 수 없는 형태로 이루어지니. 다만. Read Leviathan. I will. <웃음> I'm going to have to at this point. I'm going to miss key story elements by the end of the show if I don't. 목적지에 도착해서 너희들을 버스에서 내리라고 말을 할때 그래도 마음을 어느 정도 놓고 보낼 수는 있게 되었다고는 말할 수 있겠군. I'm less angry at you morons. You're growing on me. 모든 것을 얻어내겠다는 욕심으로 무리하게 계약을 지키려다 관리자가 돌이킬 수 없는 지경으로 가게 되어 다 잃지는 않을까 하는 고민은 덜었지. Did he just admit to trusting us more than he used to? Yes. But of course, why would you So what the fuck is the contract for then? If I so if you're not there to prevent the manager's de untimely demise and thus ruining the whole operation, but you're also supposed to... I, so how do you stop that from ha... I don't think this contract makes very much sense. But then again, it, the contract clearly stipulates that we're supposed to put the sinners under immense emotional duress. It's part of the operation. 특히 누군가 속마음을 어렵게 겨우 표현했을 때는 He's here to protect the clock, not you. Ah. 그리고 저, 잠깐만 이대로 내릴 수는 없어. 안 되겠어. 다시 돌아가자. 유턴하면 되잖아. 내 피에는 유턴 없어. 이런 꼴로 어떻게 다시 저택에 돌아가라는 거야? Oh yeah, right. Every single one of our elaborate plans to dress him up in fancy clothes fell through. Hey, you don't look that bad. 이런 꼬라지로 가면 또 다시 그 새끼들이. Oh, you mean the people on Twitter? Looks like Heathcliff is the only one who's taking this seriously. <laughs> oh no. Bonde, Nidro Vegor Kumuagoso. Trajago, Uriga Timbid and Bidi Hewato. Hamuris and Gokedo, Uri Hisuga, Hunsas of Murkumaki Kumikin Hindako Tataso. 꽤 전에 로자님과 함께 둥지로 돌아오기 전 뒷골목에서 잠깐 쇼핑을 하다 왔답니다. 둥지 안에는 뒷골목보다 대단한 게 있을지도 모르니 기다려봤는데 뭐 살만한 곳이 없으니까 아쉬운 대로 사둔 걸 써야지. 
설마 전에 둘이 어디 갔다 온다 했을 때 어, 아니 근데 그때 과자만 한 바구니 사왔길래 Yes, basket of cookies, yes 과자들은 눈속임이었어, 히스 물론 그중 몇 개는 내 일용할 양식으로 잘 써먹었지만 <웃음> 비록 제가 집에서 썼던 브랜드들까지 찾지는 못했지만 이만해도 어느 정도의 멋부림은 낼수 있을 거예요 베르, 훈훈한 분위기 이어가게 이번만 눈좀 감아줘, 응? 유니폼 말이야 회사 유니폼을 입고 오랜만에 애인을 제외하고 싶은 사람이 어디 있겠어, 그치? 그래도 저 길잡이가 용케도 허락을 해주게 그러지 뭐? 또 멋대로 작당해서 뒷문을 달락거리는 건 피하고 싶으니 야함 정말이야? 길잡이! What the fuck? I love Virgilius now! <웃음> 자, 히스클리프 씨 이제 눈을 감고 무릉도원이라 생각하면서 편안하게 몸과 마음을 맡기세요 <웃음> 잠깐, 머리 함부로 그렇게 Scalp scrubbing ASMR stream. s o m e o t o n g o n d Why are there hammer hitting noise? Wait, what's that for? His clip is in Chigum t a n j a n g j u n i a m i d a Well, someone worked hard for these. <laughs> He did not even need the coupon. Yeah, about that. Yeah, that thing that nearly got us killed. Sometime later. <clears throat> wow, Jesus Christ. Is this like forehead shimmering or something like that? Is that, is that what that sound was? Good lord. 안 돼. 홍로가 얼마나 공들여서 손질해줬는데 그렇게 만지면. Well, he you certainly cleaned him up, guys. 어, 들고 있던 몽둥이는 어디 갔죠? 몇년 만에 재회인데 몽둥이를 들고 만날 순 없잖아. 아, God, guys, the start screen. Big club. Oh. He, he's Cliff. But he, when did she get a boy in the car? So, you're t e l l i n ice creamer. So, I'll go home and I'll go home. 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 해설인 앞에서 그런 말을 꺼내기라도 하면 옷이 날개군 제외 후기를 기대하고 있겠어 <웃음> 어, 그, 그래 So Heathcliff I've been meaning to ask this question for a while I wanted to know the answer but I couldn't bring myself to ask him Why'd you leave Wuthering Heights if where it's where the love of your life, love of your life, life lies, isn't it? Oh no, I tripped the dramatic sad music. Oh no, I've made a horrible mistake. Heathcliff, who had been busily moving about and preparing to leave the bus, suddenly comes to a halt. 모든 괜찮았어. 때리는 것도 굶는 것도 하찮은 취급을 받으며 부려먹어지는 것도. Uh huh. 들러리 불순물 취급을 받으면서 사는 것도 참을 수 있었지. 하지만 캐서린 입에서 그 말이 나온 순간. Oh boy. 내가 저택에 있어야 할 이유는 그 순간 사라졌어. 아. Uh.
Heathcliff didn't elaborate further. Yeah, I, yeah, mm. That was already kind of a lot to begin with, but, hmm. Perhaps it wasn't that he didn't, but that he couldn't bring himself to. Yeah, this would probably be kind of a touchy subject here. I didn't dare ask him what he was about to say, so I simply nodded in response. I see. Yes, I, I see. Oh, Karuni, he's a pack of most verbal Hemari in Nabunda. Isa, Tunde Pipe Koya. Tua, Ta, Hamadi Sogam protected him. Karunin Potta Shira, Nukia da Maria. Utterly annihilated. Karen, you can't just destroy a man like that. Come on now. <laughs> the man was slain. The end. Game over. Yeah, I would think so. It took quite a bit of convincing for Heathcliff, who was severely discouraged by Karen's remark, to exit the bus. Yeah. GTA Wasted Logo appears on the screen. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Okay. The front gate. Well, look, ladies and gentlemen, looks like this is going to be the last one for this evening since it's about quitting time, but we've arrived at... Ah. Uh, huh. I just noticed the purple flowers over there. Huh. But we've arrived. Yet more tales of horrible backstories. Oh, they're a little bit brighter now. This <sighs> 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 The massive gate alone feels downright intimidating. Yes, that is a bit that is a big front door to fucking Luigi's mansion. いい状況区域라면 <웃음> Some were teasing him, and some were genuinely, genuinely surprised, but it didn't matter to Heathcliff. Every word he spat out was dripping with venomous spite. Yeah, as, uh, yeah, I can definitely understand that, because, uh, yeah, the house looks big and grand. There's nothing good on the inside of that, and not just because this is this game. Yeah, I think I know where this is going. Puja yeah, guys, we might, we might want to not stand out literally outside in a, a thunderstorm next to a giant metal gate. That might be bad. Uh-huh. 
번개는 불꽃놀이와도 닮아 있는 것 같소. 텅 비어 있던 밤하늘을 순간의 섬광으로 가득 채워주고 사라지지 않는가. 그 대신 자기가 가진 모든 걸 내보내서 모든 걸 불태워버리지. 놀다 아니야. 집 근처의 숲이라니 자연 친화적인 곳에 살고 계셨군요. 동물원을 따로 만들 필요가 없겠어요. 도시에서 정원이나 숲을 가진다는 것은 이러니 저러니 해도 엄청난 재력가라는 것은 틀림없지. 그렇네. 싱클레어네 집도 그러긴 했지. 다람쥐도 있고 뭐 몇몇 짐승들도 심심찮게 볼수 있었지. 아주 가끔 가다가 기분이 걷잡을 수 없이 안 좋아져서 숲에 계속 처박혀 있을 때도 있었는데. 어, 그럴 때마다 이 다람쥐군이 적잖은 친구가 되어주었겠어. <웃음> 번개가 보통 저런 식으로 치나? 휘어지기도 하고. Oh, that might be the security system. Oh. 일반적인 상황에서 벌어지기에는 지극히 낮은 확률이군요. 아, 내 과민 반응 수도 있겠지만 아무리 봐도 번개가 정확히 저 다람쥐를 향해 치는 것 같았거든. 이런 위험천만한 곳에서 용케 살아남으셨네요, 히스클리프 씨. 아니야, 미친. 나도 이런 벼락은 처음 봐. Right, so you are we all ready to go in yet? 오늘 He stared blankly at the front gate of the manor. 문을 두들기는 거 오랜만이네. 한 번은 아무도 열어주지 않길래 몰래 저택에서 빠져나온 캐서린이 문을 열어줬어. Aha. 길을 맞아가면서. 그럼 지금도 마찬가지겠죠. 이 문을 두들기면 캐서린이 올 거라고? 하. 이클프 takes a deep breath before knocking on the front door. 정말로 이렇게 될 줄은 몰랐는데요. That's what you get for being optimistic, Ish. 어, 아, 담을 넘어갈까요? 높이를 보아하니까 발목 접질러질 각오만 되어 있다면. 네. 아니. Heathcliff was a whole bundle of anxiety before he knocked on the front gate, but perhaps this perceived this perceived slight reverted Heathcliff to his usual angry self. Yep. Well, there's the game calling me out. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you know what? You know what the best ang anti-anxiety medication is? Being really fucking angry. Works like a charm. I swear. Despite his efforts, not even a soul stirred beyond the, the front gate. None of us really believed that anyone would come out to greet him. But... The front gate began to creak open as though someone was answering his pleas. Ah yes, the door mysteriously opened. And wow, the loading screen has more color than in the game. Well, perfect time to cut off indeed, because, uh, well, I think we're going to have so much fucking fun in this house, aren't we? But, so ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time I have left for this evening. Well, we're getting there finally, and it's nice to actually have the story, you know, you know, in its previous glories actually here in front of us and playing it out. So, good, good. It's going to be a wonderful time. This house of pain. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I am I can kind of emphasize with Heathcliff on some levels and... Yeah, I kind of know, uh... Yeah, I kind of know what it's like to hate my family to death for a while, so, um... Oh, boy. So, um... Yeah, I think I'm going to emphasize a lot with Heathcliff here on this, uh... Th this wonderful little adventure that we're going to have now. And yes, the reaction to the squirrel being vaporized was incredibly funny. So they're going to be sliding jokes in there, which is good. But, alright, so ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for me this evening. I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, enjoy the rest of your evening. I'm going to dump the rest of my encephalin in for leveling up. So, see y'all later.